First off, I want to thank American Standard because they decided they wanted to be part of our project. And so every plumbing finish item that you see, the tubs, the shower doors, the faucets, all of it, were sent to us by American Standard, and we appreciate it. And if you are enjoying this series and you think that that was a worthwhile gesture on their part, would you go to their social media site, they're all over the place, and just give them a like or a thumbs up or a comment and let them know that they've decided to be part of something that you think is worthwhile. This drop-in tub is the first item that we opened of the load of stuff that they sent. And a drop-in tub is a nifty thing. You create an opening much like a drop-in range in a kitchen, right? Not a slide-in, but a drop-in range. This is a drop-in tub. It's sort of self-rimming. It sits down on the tile surround or whatever kind of surround you have on you know, two or three or four sides, drops into the opening, and it's really kind of luxurious. And this particular acrylic finish is very smooth, very durable, cleans easy. So even though I like it, and even though it's luxurious, when we took it upstairs and put it into our little bathroom, we realized, whoa, we need a little more room in here than we thought we needed. So in order to reclaim a little space that's being used by a really great tub, let me show you what we decided to do. This is the tub we're putting in. It's a tub shower combo. It's a little narrower. You know, it's, it's not gonna feel quite as luxurious in there, but it leaves us a little more room for the rest of the fixtures in the bathroom. This is a much heavier tub than acrylic tubs used to be. It is uh, durable. The finish is good. It's gonna work great. I should mention about tubs that they come in right hand and left hand, depending on which side, which end of the tub the drain is located. You know, the fill and the drain and the waste and everything. But here's the second piece of bad luck that's happened to us relative to the tub in the small bathroom upstairs, and that is when it showed up, somewhere along the line it's had a little bad luck, and the corner of this flange got knocked off. This just illustrates one of the advantages. There are a few, not many, but a few, of buying from a big box store, and that is they are generally happy to return for any reason. So we're going to take this back. We're not in any big hurry on this job. It'll take about another week, you know, maybe seven working days to get a replacement in here, but at least we'll know that we won't have to worry about any cracks migrating out here over time. It will be exactly what we want instead of what we want with a blemish, not doing that. So a tub, a bathtub, is the first finished item that goes inside your house. It's got to go in early, before the plumber, so that he knows where to locate his waste his vent, his, you know, bringing the faucets in, the distance from the tub, the height of the faucet, the shower head, all those things have to have the tub in place properly so the plumber can do his work. But what that means is that, that bathtub is gonna live a dangerous life for a while until the house is done. So you gotta be ready to protect it because even a cast iron, a porcelain on cast iron tub chips easily, perhaps more easily than an acrylic tub. So whatever you do, get the tub in on time and then protect it until the job's done. Thank you for watching Essential Craftsman and keep up the good work. Look, take it back. But this is the real problem about this. You can't build Lowe's for a two-hour schooner.